Yeah. Hello. This is a cafe in Seoul, trendy cafe. So it's got a bit of a gimmick for the year of the sheep. It's got sheep in. It's a gimmick, as I say, but we're going to go along with it a bit. First of all, what does it mean in terms of the zodiac for the year of the sheep? Let me quote the zodiac. The year of the sheep is, for people who describe it, elegant, intelligent, dependable, calm individuals who are very creative. They can be shy, pessimistic, and puzzled about life, it says, and prefer to be alone. So that's the year of the sheep. But there is also, whether you accept this or not is another matter, but there is also, in any new year, a time of looking forward. That's what it's about. And in this country, in Korea, it's about two things. In South Korea, clearly, it's about the economy. There have been jitters about the economy in 2014, and those jitters continue. People are worried about growth. Growth will be something like 3.5% tidy growth but maybe a bit less, not so good. But the other thing, of course, is this divided peninsula. What's going to happen between North and South Korea? Both Pyongyang and Seoul here have been making softer noises. They seem to want to get together. <laughs> um, the Americans are a bit tougher. So there seems to be a little bit of a division between Washington and Seoul in their attitudes towards Pyongyang. We simply don't know how that softer rhetoric on the peninsula and from Pyongyang is going to play out. So, what's going to happen with the economy? Decent growth, but we're not certain about it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And also, maybe softer rhetoric will turn into some kind of rapprochement between South and North. That's what the new year might hold. And the good thing for these beasts is that lamb is not really eaten in Korea. People like these animals for their wool, but not for their meat. And for them, that's a mercy.